So now let's talk about the historical playback feature in Oh My. So this gives you the ability to rewind your data and put and put the system in playback mode, right? Um, the way you do this is by clicking and dragging the ball on the timeline, which you saw. Uh, well, the video is not playing. Play the video. There you go. You drag and drop the ball that's on the time that's on the timeline on the bottom right there. And what that does is it uh, sets it so you can see the desired time frame, right? So you're getting historical playback of your data. Now, previously, this meant that uh, every attribute that you see on the screen needed to be historized. And if the attributes were not historized, then in playback mode, the items would just not show up on the screen. So when that happened, you would have items like, you know, tag name and, and alarm description and so on and so forth that would actually not show up, which would be pretty annoying. You know, it'd be an annoying issue having to have to deal with when you're using this feature. But this has actually been improved with 2023. So now if there is no available historical attribute, then the feature will display the live values of the attribute. So to prevent confusion, if this occurs, and let me jump forward to the section I'm going to be talking about here. Um, so that you don't look at the live values and think that they are historical, you can actually see a status icon that indicates that the values are live. And so let's go ahead and show that. And that's the little green icons that you see right there. So you see the arrows, the little green arrow that points right and the little green arrow that points left. That indicates that the values are live, even though you're using the historical playback feature. So in this case, you know, these are two green arrows, but those can be customized, you know, depending on how you see fit.